Hi everyone, welcome back to Amin Maths Club. Today we are diving into a Math Olympiad challenge that will boost your problem solving skills. So let's jump right in. Here 1 over a plus 1 over b is equal to 1 over 19. So we have to find we have to find the value of a plus b. But remember that a and b belongs to integer. So here we see that in our problem that is 1 over a starting our solution plus 1 over b is actually equal to 1 over 19 so a and b is in denominator it means that a cannot be equal to 0 don't remember that a is not equal to 0 and also b is not equal to 0 so here our first step will be if we just take least common multiple on our left hand side then it will be a times b here we have b plus a is equal to 1 over 19 now if we multiply a times b on both hand side here on our right hand side so this a times b is cancelled we get b plus a b plus a is equal to a times b over 19 now multiplying 19 on both hand side here multiplying by 19 this 19 is cancelled out we get 19 times b which is 19b plus 19 times a is 19a and here it is equal to a times b so if we just shift these two expressions to our right hand side so it will be that is a times b minus 19b minus 19a is equal to 0 is equal to 0 now here in this pair if we just take b's common so we have a minus 19 and this minus 19 a is equal to 0 now if we uh, just multiply this this 19 with 19 then we get 361 so we add 361 on both hand side b times a minus 19 here minus 19a adding plus 361 on our left hand side and adding plus 361 here on our right hand side now here b times a minus 19 here if we take minus 19 is common term so we get here we have a minus time plus is minus it is 19 that is equal to 361 now a minus 19 and a minus 19 is a common term so a minus 19 is a common factor then b minus 19 is equal to 361 so from this equation we see that this a and b belongs to integer Hence, if we just make the factor of this 361, so we have uh, 361 is actually here. 361 is equal to, our first factor is 1 times 361. Similarly, our second factor here, we just write our second factor, which is uh, 361 is equal to 361 times 1. And similarly, we have third factor, which is, 361 is equal to 19 times 19 now our fourth factor is 361 is also equal to minus 1 times minus 361 and similarly on uh, this 361 is equal to minus 361 times minus 1 now we have uh, that next one is 361 is also equal to if 19 times 19 is equal to 361 then minus 19 times minus 19 is also equal to 361 so here we see that it is our first case it is second and this one is third case fourth fifth one and sixth one so we have uh, six possible cases here to find this equation for a plus b now starting our case number one so case one is a minus 19 times b minus 19 is equal to 1 times 361 
now by system of equation a minus 19 is equal to this factor 1 and b minus 19 is equal to 361 now a is equal to that is 1 plus 19 so we just put here 20 the value of a is 20 here we have b is equal to 361 plus 19 so we have 380 here we have two values of a and b we have to find a plus b then a plus b is 380 plus 20 we get 400 so it is the first value of a plus b and it belongs to integer so it is our first value now from case 2 which is 361 times 1 so our case 2 here a minus 19 times b minus 19 is equal to 361 times 1 so here we have a minus 19 is equal to 361 and b minus 19 is equal to 1 so a is equal to 361 plus 19 we have again 380 and here we have 1 plus 19 is 20 so a plus b is equal to 400 we get the same answer from case 1 and 2 now from case 3 that a minus 19 times b minus 19 is equal to 19 times 19 now a minus 19 is equal to 19 b minus 19 is equal to 19 so we have a is equal to 19 plus 19 is 38 and similarly here we get the same value of b which is 19 plus 19 is equal to 38 so now here we have a plus b is equal to 76 38 plus 38 is equal to 76 we get third value of a plus b here our fourth case is a minus 19 times b minus 19 is equal to that is minus 1 times minus 361 so here we have a minus 19 is equal to this one that is minus 1 b minus 19 is equal to minus 361 so here we have a is equal to minus 1 plus 19 we get plus 18 and similarly b is equal to here we have minus 361 plus 19 so we have minus 324 324 then we get uh, the value 342 sorry here we have 342 now a plus b a plus b is equal to minus 342 plus 18 then we get minus 324 it is the value of a plus b which is fourth value now finding uh, here fifth value of a plus b now our case number 5 is a minus 19 that is a minus 19 is equal to minus 361 and b minus 19 is equal to minus 1 now here we have a is equal to minus 361 plus 19 that is a is equal to uh, here we have minus 361 plus 19 so we get minus 342 so here b is equal to minus 1 plus 19 then b is equal to 18 now adding the value of a and b then we get minus 342 plus 18 so we have minus 324 same as in case of 4 now our final case is case number 6 which is equal to that which is implies that a minus 19 times b minus 19 that is equal to minus 19 times minus 19 so here our first factor a minus 19 is equal to minus 19 and b minus 19 is equal to minus 19 now here we have a is equal to minus 19 plus 19 
shifting this one so a is equal to 0 similarly here we have b is equal to minus 19 this will be plus 19 so b is also equal to 0 by adding value of a and b we get 0 plus 0 is 0 so here value of a plus b is 0 but according to original equation a is actually uh, a is not equal to 0 and similarly b is not equal to 0 because a and b is in uh, denominator so it is not possible that a and these are equal to 0 hence a is equal to 0 b equal to 0 have a plus b is equal to 0 so this result is not possible we are going to just reject so rejected this value of a plus b now our final values of a plus b is given by here we have a plus b we have our first value that is here we see that it is minus 324 and we have also that is uh, minus 324 and from case 4 so we just write uh, one value which is minus 324 it is our first value and second one is from case 2 is 400 here we see that from case 2 is 400 and similarly from case 1 is 400 so we have on that from case 3 is 76 so we just write that 76 and 400 so here we have three possible solution of a plus b it is our final result now we can check our entire solution here step by step i hope you have really enjoyed this video so that's it for today if you found this helpful give it a thumbs up share it with someone preparing for math olympiad exams and subscribe for more contents thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye